It may not look like much, but this 1952 Chevrolet camper van is a little bit of history. Owned by the actor Steve McQueen, he travelled in it to Mexico whilst terminally ill with cancer, the final journey he ever made. The story behind this truck is that it was Steve had had it set up uh, with oxygen tanks. There's a bed in the back, and it was the last vehicle that he rode in uh, prior to going to Mexico, where he passed. A slightly less somber tale for this 1972 Cadillac estate. It belonged to the king of rock and roll, and Elvis wanted plenty of space in his carriage. It's two of a kind. It was built by a custom coach builder out of Michigan, and Elvis used it actually to drive back and forth from California to Las Vegas when he was putting on shows. And he loved the car because he could fit all of his friends in it. This 1980 Ford Mustang looks fairly unremarkable, but it had a truly remarkable owner, a Hollywood legend who liked to keep a low profile. Betty Davis liked to be fly under the radar, so she got a very non-conspicuous car, but it had the six-cylinder motor option in it, the police option, so um, it, goes, it goes a little faster than the regular Mustang. It's not just cars, there's John Lennon's sunglasses, Ringo Starr's jewellery and a tape it's claimed shows the last recorded performance of Elvis Presley. Tim Allman, BBC News.